the blue screen in on me. in creative mode in Hilbert galaxy dino sunbird moon sunbird triangle triangle dragonfly sun sun face that's the address anybody wants to visit seizure warning. Race initiators get a little intense on this build. Things aren't going to light up. put that sign there because those last three steps were kind of hard to get up and it's called the stairway so eventually you're going to have to step up but yeah this room right here is super super hard on the playstation because we've got all those teleporters moving around, all the wire hiders moving around, and then we've got the moon pools uh, faced upside down and making this weird wavy thing behind everything, which is pretty cool to get that little wavy pattern going. And from the outside, it's let's see. The crazier so it's all built on an angle
see the cool lighting effect. Yeah, I really love the teleporters on an angle like that. Get this extra pattern. It's not solid right there. It's solid from this angle. But it's not solid from the bottom. So you still get to see through it. And it adds a nice little texture to the edge of that ring. And it just really turned out really well. I like it. joining back hopefully somebody watches this in the future and enjoys it but yeah the, the wave pattern that the moon pools make throughout here is I love that it adds movement all that stuff different angle This big old room of rainbow colors and glass walls and race initiator rings behind the walls to give it that nice pulsy effect. Oh, somebody joined. Thanks for coming back. I've already walked past the part that really glitched bad. Just these last couple rooms. Now that you're back, I'll, I'll back up a little bit. The least of the top or something. I think this is probably my favorite part of the building. Right in this room. We got to right there at the fish tanks last time. Right here is where it blue screened on me. So now we're going back up the mountain. I wanted you to see this uh, this room right here it has a lot going on. With the teleporter spinning and the wire hider spinning. And then the little wave pattern that is creating that movement. Oh, and the flags inside all those trophies. It's a double ring of Expedition 1 trophies right there. There's just a really a, a whole lot of movement uh, in this area. In this area too, I mean, there's another row of teleporters right there circling. I love how it makes the whole outer ring kind of 
travel in a circle. Yeah, this pattern that this makes is really cool. Oh, if you have something solid behind it, I kind of cut off some of it. Overlapping it, but tried to use some different angles and some different parts that also glowed green, like this little underwater part. Trophies. I haven't used the trophies yet. So I'm gonna throw them in there. Bow room. I mean, inside it, you don't really get to see these race initiators. Kind of get to see them a little bit from in here. that room a little bit. I like this right here with that pink and purple feel in the middle with the gold pods and the shells and everything. different pillites, we got blue, pink, red, yellow, and green, pretty much everything but white in there, and we got that background of race initiators, there's a ring there, a ring there, a ring there, a ring inside, kind of give us this blue glow. flower garden room, more race initiators, candle operas and trees pitched in to kind of look like flowers, there's the animals in the background, oh. I like Jurassic Park some dinos screaming in the background. Kind of got a halo of these things going on. This is a super tight, in your face kind of build. Got a bunch more of the new parts the crystal and the pod offsetting each other making a pretty cool pattern I wish those pods didn't sit at an angle and they were just straight up and down though and yeah the angle adds a little something something to it but I know they'll be able to just have them straight on and then if I want them tilted I'll tilt it myself some in with other parts. Uh, 
pretty steep. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, it's almost, I'd say it's a 7 pitch, maybe an 8 pitch. 32, 32 and a half degrees. Almost to the end. Shaders pointing at you, but you really don't get to see the, the blue pulse of these. So really, all I got out of it was these four purple lights added to an offset pattern, and then. I lucked out with those two and just slapped them down on the floors and got them to spiral just by placing them straight ahead. Oh. These final rings aren't loaded in though. Just kind of a bummer. Spectacular. A ring of mushrooms, chandeliers. What do I have in that ring there? Trees glitched the other way. Can't remember what was in there though. I think I had carbon plants. At least the waterfall loaded in. Last time Zoo visited this fissures went loaded in so you didn't get this blue waterfall again. And then you hit the teleporter at the end of the stairway to heaven. Go to heaven. And it tells you you're not worthy. Drops you out on your butt next to this build. I actually ran out of base parts. I wanted to build it up to here and back down into this little valley and decorate a bunch of trees and stuff up here and do a bunch more to it, but. That's where I ran out of base parts. So that's 3,000 parts right there. All crammed into 577 years. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to go over here. Back down it. So you can see the top of those rings. And I will be right back.
Okay. Let's just fly up right here. For my jetpack to recharge. Go back down here a little bit. Okay. Oh, that double layer didn't load in either, right there. Double layer is pretty cool. So. Here's what didn't load in up here, which was some really nice Reese bouquets of ant life that I did. Oh, the glowing mushroom, a bunch of plants, the glowy alien plant, a couple of those. Of those. Some pine trees to make them look like flowers right there. Uh, I'm not building one of these on an incline like this no more though. This is difficult. Nobody said the stairway to heaven was going to be easy though, right? Stargazing at the top. A little bit of a look down the build. Excuse me. Dr. Pepper Burp. Alright. Let's walk back down this thing. Trip out on the way back out. Trip out. Trip in and then you trip out. There's another Hyphonics tone box at the top there with the, the highest pitch playing. I don't know if you guys heard that at all, but it's there. Just doesn't sound like a, I want like a oh, you know holy choir moment. You just don't really get that out of those little boxes. One of these times I'm going to have to set up actual bite beat music to play through one of these. Prepare to be judged. Chamber. This is where you find out if you're worthy. Nobody's ever worthy. I mean, you should have like an alternating power to teleporters to like put you in heaven somewhere, but I already hit my base limit, so the game doesn't allow me to do what I want to do. I mean, it allows me to do a heck of a lot, so I can't really bitch, but... The imagination's definitely bigger than the game allows me to be.
sometimes things just don't even load in. There's, oh no, this is loaded in. It's just got a bush in front of it. Just a bush making me think it was gone. At least I made it to the top. Hopefully I can make it to the bottom. Found my game freezing again. I love that little pattern of all the light fissures coming together. Sixteen of them tightly knitted. Some Diplo things down there, screaming. But after this build, I think I've got this ring thing out of my system for a little while. I'm still doing some ringed things, but uh, not complete rings. Like the new build that I'm working on, Mount Olympus 2.0, is built into the ground and only has 11 pieces to the ring instead of 16 which allows me to decorate more of the ground and enjoy more of the bioluminescent grass and animals and stuff while you walk through the bay it's still going to be kind of trippy I don't know. still need to do my quicksilver uh, missions so the parts still need to find some of the glitches, the calcashroom and calcified star, a couple of the other ones. So I'm gonna play with them more. And this was my second build on creative mode. So I've only got the light fissure this walkway which is the wall glitch separator uh, the shells and I think that's it I think I only have three glitches in this build you can hear that harmonics box second one here back to the bottom. We made it. Top to bottom. Uh, blue screen this time. Well, I still got another 50 feet. No, don't freeze. Just see it freeze there for a second. Grab me some nip nip.
Perf, perf, pass here in a minute. they allow us to size both of these new parts. You make them bigger, you can make them a little smaller. I wish they would allow us to size the glitches. Everything should be scalable in my opinion. And glitchable. Like scale it up and get it to glitch into something. That would be sweet. so much more possibilities in the glitching realm than just having them one basic size every time. But yeah. Give another shout out to Jason Plays for coming and visiting Mount Olympus today and Kadena for Posting my link to my channel on his stream. Maybe go check him out if you haven't. Uh, also, a thank you to Zoo uh, for sharing my link in his streams, and Boss Jillian for sharing links for me. Um, I defragged my PlayStation and lost my Share Factory movie maker part of my PlayStation so I'm not really making videos right now my internet still kinda sucks my PlayStation still kinda sucks so I haven't been streaming much um, so I usually freeze on my own let alone trying to stream at the same time Hey, Deavani. Oreos, buddy. How are you doing? I just blue screened twice. I blue screened as soon as I loaded in to this build. I mean, the whole thing didn't even load in before it froze on me. And then I got halfway up it. And it blue screened again. And then this third try, this third stream, <laughs> I made it all the way up it to the top. And then I reloaded it at the top and came back down it. And I haven't blue screened yet. Have you seen this build yet? Stairway to heaven. Saw Hyra to hell, right? Well, I'll try walking up it real fast for you if you want me to, but it'll probably freeze on me. Of a 
a seizure warning right there. You don't have seizures with bright lights, do you, Devani? Can handle some some fry trip stuff. my share factory part of my PlayStation when I defragged my hard drive and it won't let me download it again from the App Store. So I can't really make videos. And my internet's too crappy to really stream. But Kadena talked Jason Plays into visiting Mount Olympus today. And I shot from 74 subs up to 146 subs. It's so almost doubling my subs in a single day. So I figured I'd get on and try to stream a little tonight just to say thank you to them and to Zoo and, and everybody else that checks out my stuff. Hey, Ogre, oi. What's up, man? Just, uh, yeah, excited to see so many people subbing to my channel today. Thought I'd jump on, try to show him some more stuff, but not sure if it's worth it or not. I've only had, well, you guys on this stream, and then a couple, three or four people that were new on the earlier tries to stream. I don't know. If you haven't seen this build yet, I think it's worth checking out. I've got a bunch of stuff in it that I don't have in the other two builds. satellite dishes to grind like that. Alright, that's quiet. Might be too quiet. <laughs> or I wish the like the animals and the sound effects were different volumes. These next couple steps are a pain in the butt. I had an incline change right there, so it just got steeper. Now it's about ready to get steeper up here. Zoo walked through this one night on his stream. Trying to use new parts. There's a double row of those trophies right there. Tried to use a bunch of the new crystal and the new pod. I got movement out of the moon pools. Got like this weird wavy. Whoa, fall off. Uh look to the moon pool from putting a backing in the middle. God damn it, now I can't get back up there. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Little wavy wavy things going on in the moon pools. They're stacking them. Oh, we're missing a ring there now too. Oh, that sucks. One too many do not signs. Uh, 
I don't, I don't get that one. One too many signs. Not enough jetpack is what I got. Not, not enough of. I doubt you'll see anybody else ever use this pattern right here, though. The underside of the teleporter is see-through. So you get this kind of leafy looking jagged pattern that you can't see from the top. I was like, that's pretty cool. Let's stick that up in the ring so we can actually enjoy it. Ah. So yeah, it adds an extra little fringe to that pattern. No, the wire things look like not that simple. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. It was a bad joke. Oh, no, no worries. I like bad jokes. I always say stupid shit. I'm the, I'm the king of stupid shit. <laughs> Stay in stuff. I go out and smoke a little bit too much nip nip and. Yeah, it kind of sucks that we're missing these rings right here. Oh well. Moving on. To the rainbow room. Yeah, I'm missing a ring of trees right here too. Wow, it just loaded in my crap right now. very end of this probably isn't going to load in either. But if you want to see it, just rewind the uh, rewind the last this stream and the second stream was Highway to Hell and first stream was the new Mount Olympus and the old Mount Olympus I think the old one, then the new one, then highway, and then stairway. Yeah, the end's not loaded in either. And now we increase in pitch. Almost have to hop up these last uh, little ways. Go into third person so you can see the pitch that we're standing on. Pretty steep. Pretty steep pitch. Trying to walk up. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Nobody said getting to heaven's easy, right? for that third person shit. So yeah, here at the end there's a bunch of really like flowery wreaths going on, kind of like that white and purple right there. There's two more rings that look like that that aren't loaded in right here. So yeah, you get all this way just to get to this teleporter and then it teleports you up to that teleporter and drops you out into the sky and says you're not worthy. Let's do that. But that's just because I ran out of pieces. I wanted to build it up here and up into this valley and decorate this whole little valley right here with a bunch of foliage. We got a little cave up here I could have built into. Pretty cool little cave. 
but the game wanted me to end it right there, so. That's how I ended it. <laughs> and yeah, if you want to see more of this build, just rewind the stream and it did eventually all load in for me. I think it just unloaded when I was playing around down there and about ready to leave in my ship. Need more jetpack. I need to go do Quicksilver missions. And I need to explore and find more glitches. And I'm still working on another build. I actually am building in the same location as the first Mount Olympus, but in creative mode. And I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. But I just like that planet and that location so much. That I wanted to build actually like down on the grass. And in the bubbles and stuff so you can get a feel for the actual planet. Um... So I think I'm going to teleport over there, and you guys can check it out if you want. And that's where I'm going to end off the stream, I think. I don't think anybody actually wants to see me struggle. I'm trying to build it. I've been pulling off like 20% of my glitches instead of 80% and it's really been pissing me off. The only bad joke is the one not said. Well, that's not true. I was hanging out with a buddy one night and he's like, I gotta get home to the old lady and give her a bang or something. I was like, well, bang her once for me. And we haven't talked since because he took that fucking stupid little bad joke the wrong way. Like I actually wanted to bang his old lady and I was just joking around. So for me, that's one joke in my lifetime I wish I had never made, but <laughs> whatever. Who needs those kind of people in your life that can't take a joke? Yeah, that's on him. Fuck, I even told him he was, I was joking around when he got all butthurt about it. I was like, fuck, dude, it's just a joke. It doesn't, don't take it literally. Like, we're already fucking shit faced. And just BS and anyways and now, now you're gonna take the last thing I say to fucking the total literal end of the spectrum fuck off so this is Mount Olympus 2.0 in creative mode <laughs> instead of normal so now I don't actually have to go fish out all the pearls and the sulfide out of the lake over there to build all these pools and stuff and glass like I've definitely been limited on Mount Olympus uh, just by the amount of glass there was in it I don't know it's still a pretty end game but eventually I'd run out of shit and have to go salvage down there in the ponds and lakes and oceans on this planet to get more pearls and sulfides got 11 rings built so far and they're built right on the right into the land this time so that I'm 
trying to save parts by not having to build the bottom of the ring. So I've only got, you know, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points to build off of instead of 16. So those other five points I can put in decorations on the ground worth of parts, you know what I mean? And throw around a bunch of mushrooms and flowers and little stone hinges and stuff. Still trying to do some cool layering and trippy patterns and stuff and Hopefully we'll get some more new parts that I can add in here. And now you get the bioluminescent grass under your feet and the bubbles. And the animals playing around and stuff. I got a little rock bridge over here. Oh, I'm too far away. Yeah, I tried to do a little Stonehenge feel right there in that little cutout. I'm going to do a bunch more decorating with trees and bushes and stuff when I unlock them, but I just don't have everything unlocked yet. Yeah, here's my little, my little bridge over here. Little rock bridge kind of a challenge to get it flat enough to walk across but it's pretty smooth smooth enough for the girls I go with which is none right now so I guess it could be rough and still be alright not sure what I'm gonna do with this cave down here though but there is a cool little hidden cave lounge area down here had to dig it out a little bit to even get in it and on Mount Olympus it's actually bigger than this and I blew out this whole wall so that I could see out over the valley on creative mode it won't let me blast out this wall though maybe I just have to go higher yeah I just have to go higher Yeah, last night or the night before I was down here, it wouldn't let me blast it out. And on normal mode, this cave's about twice this long. I'd really make a cool little underground base. This is what trips me out, though. The, the outer shell of the mountain is away from the inner mass. You got that drop right there big old ass drop actually I'd probably get stuck in there yeah got my little window to the outside here I don't know what I'm trying to do just cure boarding them What do you think? I know it's not going to outdo the first Mount Olympus, but still do something cool. That last stairway to heaven was just so tight and in your face. I was like, I, I need to just loosen the next one up, make it more open and natural. I still end up cluster fucking a bunch of pieces together. Simple to build these though. I mean they're all built on just this single framework. Just the half wall and the light floor. Bended in different directions. Except for that 
Uh, do I have enough jetpack to get out here? This little star pattern right here isn't made with the light floor. It's made by glitching all four of those plants to the bottom of a solar panel. So there's actually solar panels up in in here. Kind of see it sticking out a little bit right there. And that's just because the solar panel is one of the easiest things to glitch anywhere you want. Just go to this little wire right here, put it anywhere you want, and then adjacency to the solar panel. And you grab some of these plants. Probably not going to be able to glitch it. But when you do glitch one of these, it doesn't go upright, it goes down into the ground. So if you glitch all four of those to the bottom of a solar panel, it makes that little star pattern. Oh, that's two in a row. Uh, which one am I missing that one? Yeah, glitching. I don't know if it's still registering like a ghost based from normal. Yeah, makes that nice little star pattern. And that's how I did that ring there. And that was pretty easy too. I just stuck that wire wherever I wanted it to go on the light floor. Right here. Of course, I do it on top, not on bottom. Oh, no, it's not going to do it. And then you just glitch the plants to that. But yeah, I did it up on top. And glitched them down inward. Or. Oh, wrong piece. Make some pretty cool patterns with these things. Glitching has really been a pain in the butt, though. Just trying to figure out new ways to use that thing. I think there's solar panels right here, too. But I only glitched to two sides of it. So you just get the op offset. And then if you did the other two, then you'd get the the cross member. Yeah, just different uses of the four connectors. This is probably going to make that tree disappear, huh? Nope. Sweet. So that is one of my trees. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or not, though. But yeah, hopefully this this build will be a little bit bigger and opener and I'll be able to do a nice little like rock bridge over to the other mountain top I don't know I'm, I'm just hoping I don't run out of pieces do like a castle or something over there instead of just all psychedelic, you know, kaleidoscope. I want some actual, like, land buildings and little huts and whatever's going on. Little, might do another little rock bridge across this cave. 
to need to figure out how to float those rocks though glitch into the top of floor panels and then be able to delete the floor panel too yeah thanks rich that's what I'm doing right now is just getting on and streaming a little bit and telling Jason thank you and Kadena thank you for visiting Mount Olympus today and leaving my uh, page pinned up on his stream and yeah he loved it he was going off like this is the best thing I've ever seen in No Man's Sky uh, so yeah he actually got to sit at the end of the creator's couch and let it load in completely too so he got the full gist of it uh, but he still didn't like stop and smell the roses and look up at all the rings and watch them light up and, and then back out and get the full spectrum of color and everything so that's what I was trying to do in the the first stream tonight. I've had three streams. I keep blue screening. But I ran through Mount Olympus again so I could kind of explain what Jason missed. And then I went and visited uh, the Highway to Hell and the Stairway to Heaven. And now I'm back at Mount Olympus in creative mode building a Mount Olympus 2.0, the meaning of life. Um, and yeah, glitching has gotten a lot harder. I'm only pulling off about 20% of my glitches. I lost my Share Factory app on my PlayStation, so I can't make videos. So a couple of crappy little streams is all I got right now. But shout out to you guys, Rich. Thanks for stopping in. Ogre, thank you for stopping in. De Avante. Uh, Just Water was here. Uh, a couple other people in the first stream. But yeah, I almost doubled in subs today. I went from 74 to 146 or something. So I had to get on and try to do a little thank you stream for new subs to have some content to see. I had to delete a lot of my videos because of uh, copyright claims, which was weird because it was mostly Share Factory's music. I wonder if that's why I can't download Share Factory. I wonder if they just totally kicked me off of it for copyright infringement or something. But I'm going to end it off there, guys. I'm going to go out and smoke some nip nip, eat some dinner. I'll probably get back on this build and try to do some things. Seems like every two or three rings has taken me about an hour and a half so <gasps> it's really painstaking to watch when I can't pull off my builds or my glitches anymore just these 11 rings that I have so far has been three days worth of building I mean it's only a couple hours a day but still I should have gotten way further than this and good old face deletion and all that other fun stuff. Uh, just trying to do cool things. Make weird patterns and stuff. But I do appreciate you guys checking out my craziness and enduring the the crappy internet and everything else and that's gonna do it for me man hot box yeah always fun hanging out with you guys 
always fun. If you ever see me on, don't hesitate to join my game and razz me and give me shit and hang out, BS, whatever. Always glad to have you guys. But I wish you guys a good night, and I will catch you guys later. Some other time, somebody else's stream. Uh, pull out. That's what she said. Pull out. One more little spin around. Alright. Thank you guys. And we'll chat at you later. <laughs>